द मिनी मदरशिप फ्रॉम आर ओ जी वर्ड इज अप गाइज विमल गियर एंड वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल इन टर्म्स ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजीज और ब्रांड न्यू इनोवेशन आर ओ जी नेवर सीम्स टू डिसअपॉइंट द ऑडियंस एंड टूडे ऑल्सो आई हैव समथिंग वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग टू शो यू ऑल रिमेंबर ए कपल ऑफ इयर्स अगो वेन आई मेड ए वीडियो ऑन आर ओ जीज मदरशिप लैपटॉप एवरी बडी वेर लाइक ऑस्ट्रैक गाइज बिकॉज इट वॉज ए वेरी पावरफुल गेमिंग मशीन इन सच ए डिफरेंट यूनिक सॉर्ट ऑफ डिजाइन एंड पीपल वेर लाइक रियली सरप्राइज वेन दे सॉ दैट बट एट दैट टाइम इट वॉज लाइक वेरी एक्सपेंसिव एंड नॉट एवरी बडी कूड अफोर्ड दैट नाउ what they've done is they've actually took the inspiration from the same model and made like a mini version of the mothership guys same sort of design and let me tell you don't be fooled by the size it actually packs some pretty powerful hardware on the inside you're getting like intel's 12th gen i9 paired with rtx 30 series gpu lpddr5 ram pci gen 4 ssds and you know there are a lot of other innovative technologies as well which i'll be showing you in this video so this particular laptop is like a two in one hybrid convertible model and goes by the name flows e13 so this is what we'll be unboxing and checking out in this video now i'm like pretty hyped guys and without wasting any more time let's get started The mini mothership from ROG comes in this sort of box packaging. As I've told you, model of the laptop is called as Flow Z13. It's a two-in-one gaming laptop and packs like pretty crazy features on board. We'll be talking about all of that in this video. So this is basically a review unit sent by ROG India, and here's how the packaging looks like. Model is called as GZ301ZE, and it's available in like multiple configurations and variants. Today in the house we have the top end variant. So it's basically powered by Intel's 12th generation platform, and talking. about the specs let me give you a closer look and show you it packs like a 13.4 inch full hd plus ips level touch screen display that to with like 120 hertz refresh rate and powered by intel's 12th gen i9 12900h which is like 14 core 20 thread cpu pair that with rtx 3050 ti 4 gigs and you're getting like 16 gb of lpddr5 ram and 1 tb pci gen 4 ssd pretty insane specs for a two in one laptop i'd say guys and without wasting any more time let's quickly get started with the unboxing so it's only available in one color which is your regular black color i believe and as soon as you open it there you go boys this is the actual box packaging of the laptop so it comes in this beautiful sort of design look at this whole silver sort of feel over here with the rog logo on it and there's also an accessory box as well keeping that aside this particular laptop also comes with a freebie carry bag and you know all flow sort of devices usually come with this free carry bag from what i've seen in the last few lineup guys and And on the inside you get like a strap for the back that's it there is nothing else over here so these were the stuff we got in the package now let me give you a closer look and show you how the actual packaging of the laptop looks like beautiful box design i would say look at this it says rog flow and shows all the schematic sort of stuff at the top and as soon as you open that oh boy look at this our mini mothership is over here the flow z13 Oh wow no that is such a beautiful looking piece of tech keeping that aside you're also getting a free stylus also included because it basically has like a touch screen right so you can use this and show your creativity and that's it over here and in the accessory box i believe you have your power adapter it's a 100 watt type c power adapter very compact in size and also get a mains cord for the same that's it these are all the accessories we got in the package now let me give you a closer look and show you how this whole thing looks like and talk about the design and build quality the design on the floor Z13 is quite unique. ROG is calling it as retro futurism design, which is basically inspired by the 20th century space race. The chassis you see over here is like covered with spacecraft inspired machining right from the cuts and bends. Everything is like precisely CNC milled on this thing. And talking about build quality, build quality is also top notch. Entire body of the laptop is made of a high density aluminum alloy itself. And yes, it also has like a premium anti fingerprint coating on it to repel and minimize fingerprint marks during usage and how can you miss out this thing have a closer look there's a special glass window over here that gives you like a sneak peek at the interiors of the laptop like literally you can have a look at the raw motherboard guys the pcb circuit components everything that too covered in like beautiful rgb lighting and as i've told you it's literally the mini mothership guys also has like a built in kickstand it's a 170 degree adjustable kickstand which easily pops out like this and now you can place a z13 anywhere on any sort of surface 
and that is pretty much it you've got like a couple of ports over here and there's also a camera at the top this thing actually has like dual cameras guys one is like an 8 megapixel and the other one is a 720p hd camera above the screen basically it's like a tablet guys but you know in a two-in-one form factor you can use it like a laptop use it like a tab all up to you so that's it about the exteriors. Have a look at the interiors. The Flow Z13 is available in two display variants. You get like a 4K60 panel for content creators and a 1080p 120Hz panel made for gamers. And we've already discussed about the specs, right? It packs like a 13.4 inch 1080p 120Hz display that supports Dolby Vision. It's Pantone validated, has 100% sRGB color gamut range and offers up to 500 nits of brightness. And also if you have a look at the bezels, bezels are also like damn thin on this Thing, especially on the sides basically it's a 16 by 10 panel right extends a bit longer vertically and offers a quite narrow bezel sort of feel and just above the display you do have a camera as well it's a 720p hd webcam and apart from that there's also a secondary camera at the back side as well which is an 8 megapixel camera so totally you're getting dual cameras on this system so that was about the upper half and going to the lower half section the flow z13 comes with a magnetically detachable very slim profile keyboard guys we'll come back to this and talk about that in a moment first let me give you like a closer look and show you all the available connectivity ports on this system Starting off from the left side, this is your speaker grill I believe, has like stereo speakers, 3.5mm audio jack is there, a USB type A port is there, volume rocker is also available and this is your power button to power on the Flow Z13 laptop. Now going to the top side here, you've got the Republic of Gamers branding and followed by some exhaust vents as well to keep it running cool and now going to the other side, this is where you've got the remaining ports. There's a super fast Type-C port available, a dedicated port to connect XG Mobile as well and lastly a right firing speaker. And on the bottom you have an interface to connect that magnetic detachable keyboard. So boys that is pretty much it, our complete overview on the laptop and build quality definitely looks quite durable, it's a pretty solid looking piece of tab. Let me give you a closer look and show you how this keyboard also looks like. Okay, the idea behind Z13 was to keep it like versatile and flexible. That is the reason ROG went with like a portable and detachable keyboard. Look at this, it comes with a very slim profile, detachable magnetic keyboard and has like one zone RGB backlighting as well. Keyboard quality is fine, has like N key rollover, 1.7 mm key travel distance and keys were also very good guys, offered like tactile and clicky feedback. But though I have to mention, the experience was not as great as like a dedicated keyboard that you would find on any other game laptop. I was kind of missing those opti mechanical switches found on other ROG gaming laptops. Anyways moving on to the touchpad. Touchpad was also fine but man the touchpad size was like really small over here but apart from that it was doing a good job detecting all my inputs and gestures didn't face any sorts of dead zones also anywhere. Now comes the main part like how is the overall display quality over here. Coming back to the specs I've told you right it's available in two variants you get like a 4k panel 1080p panel is also there today we have the 1080p panel ours is a 13.4 inch full hd plus 120hz ips level touch screen over here and display quality is like pretty good guys if you talk about the detail there's good amount of detail now come on 1920 by 1200 resolution at 13.4 inches everything is like crisp and clear no matter what sort of content you view on it either it be web pages or even you watch content like movies web series on netflix or any sort of platform you'll thoroughly enjoy the whole experience talking about the colors it's an ips level panel that supports 100 percent srgb color gamut but the main highlight over here it's like pantone validated from the factory guys that means the display is capable of producing like very rich and accurate colors out of the box main benefit over here is if you are like a content creator or maybe like a video producer or maybe like a color grader right these these sort of displays can be great for your usage and apart from that contrast levels are also nice and dynamic range is also pretty good the display also supports Dolby Vision HDR guys so you'll have like a blast watching movies or any sort of content on this thing brightness is also like pretty decent can go up to like 450 500 nits of brightness and was like plenty sufficient for day-to-day -day sort of usage and best part is it's got like 120 Hertz refresh rate with adaptive sync support and also has like max switch plus optimus so it's like great for gaming as well we'll talk about the gaming performance in a moment and lastly coming to the sound i've told you right it's got stereo speakers with smart amp technology and they're powered by dolby atmos as well sound quality was fine it was producing like good audio clarity minimum distortion but audio output was a bit less guys you know i've been used to like powerful speakers on laptops so i felt audio output was a bit lacking over here and i had to use it like most of the time at 100 percent volume level only 
Oh boy, now comes the fun part, time to talk about the performance. So despite having like a compact form factor, Z13 actually packs pretty decent hardware on board. It's powered by Intel's 12th Gen i9 12900H, which is like a 14 core 20 thread CPU with a max turbo of up to 5 gigahertz. Now pair that with an RTX 3050 Ti, 16 gigs of LPDDR5 RAM and also a TB of PCI Gen 4 SSD, there's nothing this little guy is scared of. Day to day tasks like browsing the web with half a dozen chrome tabs open, running multiple apps at the same time, everything was a breeze over here. But best part is, it's great for creative sort of applications. I've told you right, it's got like a Pantone validated IPS display with the touch input support. Yes, you can use your stylus as well. So if you're like a designer, creator or maybe an artist, that stylus can be of great help to you. Touch input was also very good. I didn't face any sorts of lags or dead zones anywhere. So Photoshop, check, 1080p video editing, yes, the Z13 can aram se handle these sort of applications and loads. And coming to gaming, yes you can do gaming over here but it's not like a dedicated gaming machine right it's not made for that purpose it's more like a two-in-one hybrid sort of device so don't expect a lot over here in this segment it only has like an rtx 3050 ti with 4 gigs of gddr6 memory and 40 watt tgp you can play a lot of triple a titles at 1080p resolution but at medium to high sort of settings only right now we are testing spider-man remastered on pc playing this game at 1080p medium level graphics and and as you can see, we were getting around like 65 to 70 FPS on an average. If you push it to like very high graphic settings, it was somewhere around like 45 to 50 FPS. So that is the kind of results you can expect over here. But one good thing ROG did is making the Z13 like fully flexible. Z13 has like a dedicated PCI 3.0 GPU interface to the side where you can connect their XG mobile guys, which is like an external GPU dock. You can connect external GPUs, powerful GPUs like 3080 or maybe like 3080. TI and fully convert this little tab into a dedicated gaming machine. Remember I've actually made a video on the XG Mobile where I've actually converted a simple gaming laptop into a powerful gaming beast. That support is there over here. So that is one great advantage. If you haven't watched that video, now make sure to watch it guys. It's a very interesting video. Link will be in the card above. One more crazy thing you might have noticed over here is despite having such a compact form factor, the Z13 was actually running at pretty decent thermals. It wasn't overheating like most of the other laptops and the main reason for that is because of the design. The whole tab is like literally floating in the air with the kickstand open and there is no obstruction to the airflow. Hence thermals automatically got improved. But I do have to mention fans were a bit noisy and run in high most of the time especially while gaming. Well, that's it guys, our video on the mini mothership from ROG, the Flow Z13 2022 edition. It's got a beautiful design, very compact form factor. It's like fully versatile guys. You can use it like a tab with the touch screen or use it like a gaming laptop with a detachable keyboard. Display quality is also pretty good. It's Pantone validated, great for creators and both gamers as well. Performance is also like on point over here and you're getting like dual cameras on board. Only thing I felt is it's not user friendly configurable. You can't upgrade the RAM on board and also audio output was a bit limited. Wish it had a little bit more sound. And lastly, I felt the pricing was a bit on the higher side. So the price of this model starts at around like 1.1 lakh rupees in India. And our particular variant costs around like 1.8 lakh rupees in India. What do you people think about this model? Share your thoughts in the comment section down below. And that's it. I hope you all enjoyed watching the video and got to know everything about this product. Make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to my channel for more such awesome videos. And I'll see you all in my next one.